Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total War with Europa Barbara Room Total Conversion Mod. It has been a week since I played, since we got Kabawaka, Ekbatana and Edessa. But it feels like yesterday and so we will have another part of our campaign today. I want to start though by addressing an issue that very much annoyed me. There were numerous comments on my video about the culture penalty. You guys just can't leave that be, so I'm gonna have to address it in more detail. Now, most of my cities have culture penalty. This culture penalty is calculated by foreign buildings. So far, you were right. However, the culture penalty is not calculated the way you think it is, as most, almost all of the um, culture penalty comes from the government building. Now, even if that uh, wasn't the thing, there is not that much use in destroying enemy buildings apart from them if if there's one that you clearly do not want to have uh, because these buildings can be rebuilt in your own buildings when your city grows so for example when this city uh, grows to another level of population we will rebuild the large palace into our own building and this city will lose its culture penalty the same will happen with uh, any other one. Now, if, for example, I destroyed, I don't know which, for example, the blacksmith, I would get 1600 minai. If I destroy the large market, uh, I will get three and a half thousand. If I destroy, uh, what's this called, large granary, I will get. 2,133. Now these are fractions of what it costs to rebuild it when there's no actual use in really destroying these because they do not remove culture penalty because you cannot destroy your government building. And unless you destroy that one you will always have the culture penalty. Now let me show you this is not real. I'm gonna reload this because I would never want to do this but see Ekbatana has culture penalty of 50%. Now, I'm gonna destroy every single building I can. Just to prove my point. Yeah, I can destroy the farms. Now, This is a queer city, there's nothing in it now, and it still has the fucking culture penalty. So there is no point in doing this until you change the palace, because that one removes the culture penalty. The cities where we already built uh, a new palace don't have it, because we, have, we let the city grow, and once we build it in... I think we've already built in Tropezis as well. And we... Uh, no, we haven't. It's still for free health. And we haven't here either. See, so there's culture penalty for that. It doesn't come with the temples. It doesn't come with other things. We have just managed to completely fuck up this city and have nothing from it. So... This city is now useless. It doesn't generate any income. We have gained a lot of money. But to rebuild everything would be much more expensive than the amount of buildings, or the amount of money we gain from destroying the buildings. So consider this issue done. I had to research this, and what I found is that there is no use in destroying anything unless you actually want to pillage the city and flee. Okay, so so there will be no destroying. There, no matter what you guys comment or how many times you tell me, because there, it's on every single video in the past session. Destroy the building. Don't hesitate to destroy the building. Destroy this. Destroy that. It doesn't matter. Doesn't. <laughs> okay, and now that I've uh, actually 
address this issue, we can reload and start the game. I apologize that I had to take such drastic measures, but you guys are annoying with it. There's people commenting on the videos, but if there was one comment, but it's comment on comment on comment, like every other one deals with this issue and it's getting ridiculous. And even if it did, as I said, there is no real use because you get only a fraction of the money. Now I'm done and we can move on. And we will. So, let's see uh, the situation. Our empire... Oh, yeah, by the way, I <laughs> I forgot about that cute comment I was uh, reading a long time ago on one of my videos where I asked you guys what I should name these passages and one of my subscribers actually commented that I should name them Alpha, Pi, and Omega. And I'm going to do that because it's such a great way how to name these, you know, we're gonna go through the Alpha Passage, or the Omega Passage, or Pi Passage. So consider these named. Now, uh, the things you guys suggested are actually kinda intelligent uh, regarding the passages. There's a... Uh, oh wait, where's, where does the border end? I think it ends somewhere here. We're gonna build Move out! Can we? Yeah, we can. We're gonna build a watchtower. Actually, no. We're gonna build it here and then move ma move back. Damn, Kutais needs the governor. And we're gonna do the same thing Orders. here. Move out! Ah, oh, look at you. There's a guy there. Diran of Artsruni. We should deal with Diran. I think that Samus is gonna take a small detour and take this guy out. Build tower. March. Okay, you're gonna no return. And we now have to figure out what we're gonna do with uh, the money we have. Now, another suggestion that I would like to address and then I will take into account is that this area of uh, Bosporani this area of Bosporani, I actually don't know uh, the proper name, there should there should or might be another city here that we might conquer and uh, have a sort of a colony in front of us so we'll have to check that uh, one thing that I want to know is yeah, okay, we're no longer at war. I had a dream that we were still at war with um, Greece. At one. So that was pretty annoying that I forgot about that, but uh, we are not. It was just a dream. Now, we have 20,000 that we have gained from uh, Ekpatana, and we have an enemy army that is approaching the city. Now, this guy could be very annoying as he has... Uh, rather large army not as large for us to be afraid but still large enough and we cannot uh, retrain our troops in Egbatana so we have to mm, probably well not probably we have to uh, recruit an army here to defend Prospa so I'm gonna recruit two units here, and uh, Kabawaka has been saved. See, this is one of the buildings that we definitely do not need, as it is uh, pastorialism, which is, I think, a way of life for the people in this province. Uh, it's one of the buildings that were built by Pahlava, uh, I think. Yeah, the Pahlava are descendants. We don't want that one. And we're gonna repair the subtrapic that they damaged. Uh, and we're gonna... Actually, who am I going to take away? I'm gonna leave you, and I'm gonna leave these guys with you. These guys are kinda hopeless, but... We might want to take them with us. 
I think that the correct way would be to destroy this army and then march to Praspa and from Praspa march here to take Arbella. And once we take Arbella we will have um, Kartakio Kartatio Kerta as another inner city for us. So far we had only Muchkeda Arma there and this one will be a full inner uh, full inland city. Okay, well, actually, let me check the taxes. Are we? Yeah, we could take high tax right here, high tax right here, normal tax right in Egbatana. Uh, we could only equip them with better weapons. Low tax. Why do we have a low tax with Entropezes? Let's have a normal tax right here. High tax right here, normal tax right in Edessa, normal tax right there, normal tax right here, high tax right there. And Machketa uh, needs the governor as well. I know. Okay, so the taxes are okay. Now, uh, yeah, so Samus will probably go there, deal with these guys, then move to Praspa and walk south from Lake Crash in. Uh, Arbella to conquer it. Do we have any spies around that we could use? Not family tree there. Mm. No, these are settlement details. I'm always confused about the screens. There's a. Uh, yeah, here. Agents. Sourmog. At once. It's your task to find the enemy and make peace no with them. Moves, Mitranus is near Edessa. So you will move and scout on Arbella. While Vasak will go and have a look at these guys. Now this guy is a decent commander and has five full stack units. Well, Samus has actually Samus has no damn Samus has no that might be a problem Samus has no melee unit I'm gonna when I'm gonna take him out he's gonna have one two three four five six seven archer units and no melee units by the way, I'm gonna recruit a new army in Kabalaka that will be uh, com composed of uh, at least three uh, Kafkazes Barbara and three archer units. I'm not gonna do the same mistake again. Hmm. Am I brave enough to march at these guys only with... What would happen if we took everyone except these? Forward. Kabbalah will descend into chaos. Ordez, Should not all that bad. The enemy. Okay, I'm gonna go and uh, do it like this, and then I'm Ordez. gonna send you guys back. That's actually kind of intelligent. My liege. You know, you can join them. You're no use here. And we will start by cr recruiting two units. Okay, with that said, uh, we have to deal with the situation here. I already started the recruitment in Praspa. As I accept them, can they actually reach us? No, they can't. So we'll have at least one more turn. We are uh, pacifying the local population in Ekbatana. That's okay. And now we have 16,000 monies to distribute. It might be a good idea to build a mine. I cannot build a deep mine, though I would like to, because that one is extremely expensive. But we might focus on some cities that have decent trade, like this one, I think. Has a good trade. Yeah, trade income 530. Let's see. Armaver. We definitely need this city to grow. Oh, and we can build a 
Governor's large house. Well, don't mind if I do. Machkeda. Oh, we can't build anything there. We have the governor out. Uh, Kabawaka. We're re repairing. And could we do some? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna definitely go for walls. This city needs walls. Praspa. Praspa could get a blacksmith. Actually, the thing is, if we're not gonna... How much would we get? 1600. How much do we get in? How much this one? If I destroy the blacksmith in Ekbatana and build in Praspa, we could have a recruitment center here. Well, we can't build anything here, though. I'm a bit reluctant to do so. Seems like a waste. Local barracks. Storehouse, damn. That would really help. Increase in trade level goods and plus one to growth. This city is already growing by 5.5% per turn. That's insane. Merchant might be good. We have the money. Though the trade income here is really poor. You know what, I'm gonna start with a storehouse. That one, uh, that one costs a lot, but it will boost the growth even more. And we have a huge amount of taxes coming from this city. Why do we don't? Land trade, sea export. Hmm. Never mind. We said we're still gonna do it. Uh, Ingbatana is building. Now, Trapezus. Trapezus definitely needs a trading port. That one will help a lot. Trade overseas is great and we already have a decent trade here. So a port for Trapezus and Anikama. Anikama. What could we build in Anikama? We're having problem with uh, distance, squalor, and tax penalty. This would help the growth. We don't have enough units here. We might consider that. But for now, we're gonna build a hero's house. Edessa is not building anything because we have already ran out of money. But we'll invest in Edessa next turn. So every single city is now building except Muchkeda, uh, which has no governor. Kotai is finishing a, a house oh, that was already built. And you will build a uh, watchtower here. Okay, that seems fine. And let's see what's gonna happen now. Oh, they're moving towards Ekbatana. And why is Pontus spying on me? I don't really like that. We should start getting some murderers. Recruitment report. Uh, Gundin is a gun. Caucasian, uh, Spearman, Caucasus, Barbara, and a unit in Korkati or Kerta. And we have finished. Nice. Damn, we can put assassins here. Well, we've. Whatever. We finished um, the local uh, pacification in Ekbatana. And I intend to keep this city. Damn, if I could just. Eastern singers, Eastern skirmishers, Persian archers, those are fucking useless for me. I, could, I would have to only rebuild a totally new army for myself. These guys give me nothing. Hellenic native spearmen or. Uh, 
Gonna do portal. Push just that's... It's so fucking useless, I cannot even start. Okay, let's build this a trap, babe. Good uh, You will march towards... Where's the... We'll march here and build the watchtower here. Build tower. Now you will Move return out. to Katais and we have a nice defeated, view of the area. Sire. Same as Prepare for battle. you are approaching and this man. And you... Unseen, unheard. Unseen, unheard. I'm thinking uh, Vasek is really good spy. He, we might do ourselves a favor and send him up here to scout on our enemies. Oh, we have a new son. And... Wow, Bagrat has got a pet monkey. Plus two to agent skill. Hmm, not bad. Vasak, musician, minus one unrest. Not bad. And Vasak, surgeon. Cool. Not a bad turn at all. And we got a lot of money, so that makes me happy. Oh damn, we got some rebels here as well. I don't own a few of them, two units. I think we could actually take them down. Orders? Do you feel like it? My liege. My liege. You will return to Machketa. That's your home and... Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna upgrade this city as well. Come on, there's a large house. Yeah, and I wanted to build something in... Wait, what's up with Trapezus? Yeah, we're getting unrest because we got that fucking spy in there. And I can't do anything with that, so let's just lower the tax right now. Diplomat. Spy. Let's get another spy. And Katais is leaderless as well. Not much surprise. 